This is part two on the zero log on malware and in here I will show you what you need to do to detect the attack as well as set this environment up as part of the thing like a hacker type of videos. So most likely you will do this via group policy but uh, to show you in detail what you do manually here is that you need to go on their administrative tools local security policy and there are some setups that you need to do here on their advanced auditing audit policy configuration you expand this one and here on their account logon you need to have this and, and you should have this already enabled by default I would say uh, and I have this uh, enabled by virtual my sysmon but again you don't need sysmon for this to actually work same thing with DS access you should enable those but the most important one specifically for uh, this particular attack are here on their account management and as you see there are a couple of them that I don't have enabled so for me to detect this attack you need to at least have these two enabled this one user account management which I already had but this one needs to be enabled as well so I need to put this one and if, if you want you can enable the rest of them I don't think that these are too noisy in terms of VPSs but uh, at least these two you need to have set up and of course you need to have this machine able to send the logs to curator via WinCollect or any other means and there are separate videos that show you how you do that now let's actually go into Kali to let you know what you need to do to make that happen and by the way I will put in the box folder whose link is in the video description of this and all my videos uh, this short file that has uh, these are the two commands uh, particularly this one you need to issue I, I'm not going to do it because I already have had it done in your Kali system to enable this uh, attack to succeed and you need to get this particular Python script which is the one that we use to to get the dumps this is the IP address of my machine this is the host name by the way the host name notice that in here uh, actually the, the name that you need to use is this one let me show you why that is and actually you see you see it here the two commands that I issue are this one to gen to make the ex the exploit being successful and notice that I didn't put the ER at the end and then to do the dump I did this one escaping the dollar in here right so to get the actual name for this all you need to do in the Windows machine is to issue this command well let me actually type it mbt stat a and then the IP address of the box 172.16.60.130 because my, in my case my name was too long and this is where you know that this is the actual name that you'll need to use for that export. notice that the ER got truncated at the end that's all you need to do so you have Kali ready, you have the windows sending the, the, the logs what is left to do is to create the ruling curator let's actually go there let's actually get it from here so we use the traditional editor and notice the two conditions the event category is authentication computer account change and that's what you need to enable that log that I showed you before and when that is done when the username is anonymous login and the rest is just standard stuff you definitely want to fire an offense you may want to index that by log source name and you want to dispatch a new event that's the comment 
nothing really fancy around this. So I hope that this helps you be being able to detect in your system the exploitation of this uh, particular attack.